How's it going everyone? I'm Zedfast and today we're going to be comparing the Managama and the Rock Drake in another episode of Creature Comparison. So I'm comparing these two today because they look so similar. Those are like the exact same length and their models are so super similar. So the Managama is basically just a Rock Drake in the snow except he has kind of different abilities. So first we'll see their health, who has more health. So the Managama has 825 and the Rock Drake has 900. So the Rock Drake has a bit more health which makes sense since he does look a bit more beefy. Next we'll see who can turn around better. So this is the Rock Drake walking, this is the Rock Drake running. <laughs> yeah the Rock Drake's turning circle is really bad. Let's see the Managamas now. I reckon he'll be better. Yeah, it's definitely better when he's walking. When he's sprinting. Yeah, I'd say it's still better. So the Managama is better for turning around, which makes him more mobile. So each time they get to a pillar, that's one lap. I tried to do this before, but the course was too small and they kept falling off. Okay, so that's one, two, three. <laughs> the Managama is so fast. Four. And this is at level 1. Both creatures are at level 1. Oh no, <laughs> he's going over here. Uh, 6, I think. 6 or 4. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what well, you guys probably know. I'll put the number of laps on the screen for the Managawa. Because I lost count. Okay, so the Rock Drake now. 1. The Rock Drake turns around so badly. That's, uh... Something good about the Managama. Oh, the parasol is in my way. Okay, that's two. Three. Oh yeah, another thing is that the Rock Drake gets stamina back much more quickly than the Managama. So that's a useful thing. I keep going into the water. I lost count for the Rock Drake now as well. I'm pretty sure he's gone further than the Managama. Except the Managama is a lot faster. But the Rock Drake stamina is a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> Rock Drake definitely won this. Okay, the rock deck finally ran out of stamina, so he got almost that many laps. I I lost count again, so you'll see it now pop up on the screen. So the rock Drake has better stamina, but the mana gamma is a lot faster, and also the rock Drake gains stamina back faster. Okay, so next we have the damage test. This is how much damage the creatures can do and how fast they can do it. So first, the rock deck. He does 62 damage, and he attacks pretty slow. Not too slow, but not that fast either. <laughs> okay, so next we'll get the Managama. Okay, the Managama is having issues. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 61 damage, and he attacks a lot faster. For some reason, he switches between like a headbutt, and a swipe, and a two-arm swipe, and you can't choose for him not to do that. <laughs> it's all combined into his primary attack. I guess it makes him look more alive. <laughs> so the Managama does do more damage. Let's just see the percentage. So this guy was again. Oh yeah, 175. And this guy 105. So that's interesting. <laughs> so maybe the Rock Drake would do more damage when you raise them from an egg because this guy he has no imprinting value but when you would get imprinting value he would do a bit more damage but the managama attacks a lot faster except he has sometimes has problems with attacking so the as in managama's range isn't as good as the rock drake 
Okay, so next we have the swimming test. This is how far, I mean how long, it takes them to get from this pillar to that pillar. And the Managama, I'm pretty sure this is going to win this. It takes him like 4 seconds. So yeah, that's how fast he was. Oh no, went too far. Oh no. Okay, I'm here with the rock check now. I don't think he's going to do as well as the Managama. But let's see. Oh no, I jumped. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> so they can both jump in the water. I forgot about that. Okay. So jumping in the water would make it easier. But if you don't jump, he just sinks. <laughs> so he took that long. So I'm pretty sure the Managama won that. But it was pretty close. They're both really good from his. Which is weird since he lives in the snow on extinction. And he lives in aberration. And there's like not much water in either of those maps and they're so good at swimming okay next we have the ability test so this is how many abilities they have and what they are what they do and how effective they are so first we'll go with the rock drake so his saddle suits two people same as the managama over there and next we have his second attack second ability <laughs> so this just makes him climb like that <laughs> and you can't regain stamina when you're in the climb mode but you don't use it too much as you can see in the top right corner there's a climbing icon for when you are climbing oh no I fell down okay his third one as you just saw then is a jumping I'm gonna include that <laughs> so yeah he has this jumping he goes pretty high with it he doesn't go too far though but his jump is good because his next ability lets him glide like this <laughs> and this is super good for aberration not so much for the island <laughs> but they only spawn on aberration and extinction anyway but you can't tame them on extinction they only come in corrupted form so another thing with their dab ability they have a pointer if you click it it makes them shoot forward which is also really good and their last ability, which is their third attack button, is this. <laughs> they just go invisible, which is super cool. You can still kind of see that it's there, but wild creatures can't see you. Enemy people can still see you <laughs> if they really try and look for you. And with their turrets, that also helps. And it even makes the radar go invisible, right now I have stamina. So when he goes invisible, it uses quite a lot of stamina. So they go. Yeah, as you can see, you can't see the player either. The player's even more invisible than the Rock Drake. Okay, so now the Managama. So first, we have... Oh, I found a test object. <laughs> so his first ability is his freeze. Okay, I travelled to the proper island <laughs> instead of where I was over there. So that I can test it on some loud creatures. That's so right. Okay, so there you go. I killed it. <laughs> I don't understand this attack. Yesterday it did like 0 0.5 damage and just then it did 15. So maybe it depends on the Managama or maybe it's just really glitchy because it just came out. Uh, I'll go over to this turtle. I'll be back once I have stamina again. Okay, I have stamina. Okay, now it's doing 0 damage. I don't know what it's doing. I'll turn on infinite stats. Let's say I went around stamina. So yeah, it's not working right now. Oh, finally! Okay. So now it's frozen. The smaller the creature, the longer the freeze. So the turtle, it's a medium creature. So it takes a decent amount of time for them to unfreeze. And for that capacitor, it takes, um, like, one second for them to unfreeze. And for that kadodo, it takes them forever to unfreeze. It would be too hard to get these bugs. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this guy's going to take ages to unfreeze since he's super small. And they also have a freeze timer. So when you just freeze the dino, you can't freeze them straight after again. So that way you can't just keep freezing them. So he's unfrozen. Now I can't freeze them anymore. 
see. It just freezes up to that point. Because otherwise that would be too OP. You could just keep freezing them. Yeah, the dragonfly's still frozen. Because the smaller the creature, the longer the freeze. Okay, so his next ability is his jump. Which is super cool. <laughs> so when you're in the jump, you can go side to side. You can go forward as well. Which is really cool. And you can keep jumping. And you can also click your primary button when you're in the air. And you have this cursor pop up. And it makes you shoot down. <laughs> it doesn't do much damage though. It only did 7 damage to this Stego. That time it did 3 7s. So 21 damage. I think it did 20, 21 again. <laughs> and next, he has this. So when you freeze and you're fl jumping, he like flies in the air. <laughs> Which is really cool. So I can try and do this. <laughs> This works when there's a huge target in front of you, and it's just chasing you. I think he has one more. Oh yeah, his third one. It's so weird. It's the same as the... Sorry, that was Discord. It's the same as the primary attack, except it's just a different button. So, I don't know why that's there. I think that's a glitch. I don't know. But the problem with the Managama is that all of his abilities use so much of his stamina and he barely has any stamina just then I had infinite stats on so that makes me never run out of stamina so right now I have normal stats on but I am a level 1 so that makes sense so if I try and freeze I did that for like half a second and my stamina is already half gone yeah my stamina is all gone already so the Managama, it's not good for long term fights because of how quickly he runs out of stamina. If you have a high enough level Managama and you can go forever like this, they would need like 10,000 stamina or something crazy. So that makes him like the fastest creature in the game. But you would have to have an insane amount of stamina. Okay, so next we have the utility test. That's how well they can harvest things. Oh no. They both they both are just harvest meat and hide. That's it. <laughs> As you can see I can't harvest trees or berries. And they harvest it about the same same amount for meat and hide. Next we have the difficulty test and also the appearance test. So first the difficulty test. This is how hard it was to tame them. And I'd say the Rock Drake was definitely harder. Because of him you have to go down to the trench, steal an egg, come back and then raise it. And all of that's in the hazard area. And there's so much Rock Drakes guarding the area. But the Managama, it's just a knockout team. But he's also really difficult because he can do all that stuff, all of his abilities, when he's in the wild. And it's so hard to get him to follow you. Since he aggroes on everything. Even... You can see that Dirt Dicarus over there. If this guy was wild, he would see the Dirt Dicarus from here and go attack it. So imagine you were... The Dirt Dicarus was you, the player. And that's how far he can attack you from. So next, their appearance test. This is which one they which one looks better. So this is just opinion. I think the Managama because he has a cat face <laughs> and all of this tech underbelly and the rock drake he looks pretty cool but I'm kinda sick of seeing him <laughs> since he's been around for quite a long time and I never really liked him that much on terms of looks but the managama looks awesome but leave in the comments below which you think is better looking maybe you agree with me Maybe you don't. <laughs> okay, we're now here in the arena for a good old fashioned 1v1. <laughs> this is to finish the video to see who is stronger in combat fighting. They're both level 1. I froze the game right now so they're not attacking each other yet. Okay, let's go. They're both team stats and they don't have a saddle. Oh, he jumped up. 
and the rock Jake is invisible. Where'd he go? He's so, what is he doing? <laughs> He's attacking the wrong stuff. Oh no, I'm gonna have to restart this. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he did lots of sevens. Well, at least you get to see him in action now. <laughs> this dire bear is actually winning. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now you, now you see what I mean by them. The Managama having a large aggro range. Okay, maybe he'll actually fight this time. Yeah, they're fighting. Okay, so the Managama got a dash in. And they both got a primary hit in so far. Now they're just chasing each other in circles. Well, the Rock got a hit. Another hit. The Rock Jake's winning. Uh, he's gone again. Ready to go. Ready to go, Rock Drake. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I have no idea where he went. Okay, the Managama is on 500. Rock Drake's on. Oh, also 500. Well, the Managama's winning now. <laughs> this is such a close battle. The Rock Drake's not even using his abilities now. But he doesn't really have any combat ones. Uh, oh, the Managama is winning by a lot. By like 140 health. Oh, he dashed again. <laughs> yeah, this Rock Drake is dead. I actually thought the Rock Drake was gonna win. Oh, he might come around, maybe. He might somehow win. Oh no. <laughs> it's such a good battle. He can't even hit him now. Oh, if he finishes him with a dash. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> yeah, he has 14 health. And he's dead. Okay. The Managama won. So the Managama... Oh no, he's running away again. There's nothing up there. Oh, the body's here. For the, from the bear. Okay, so the Managama won in the combat. So, I guess he's strong at fighting. Since he does have a lot of combat abilities. Except he hit, his stamina is really bad. Which makes Rock Drake better for traveling. His head's stuck now. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribing and liking me lets me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.